Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be installing Sensational What Lace Wig in the style Lena, and I got her in the color one. So this is how the wig looks straight out of the box, but I did go in and spray my lace tint, my even lace tint on the lace, but I did not pluck this lace at all. This lace came pre-plucked, and I actually liked the way they pre-plucked it. It looked really natural, so I did not have to do anything to the lace as far as plucking. So first we are going to cut the air tabs on each side of the lace so that the wig can fit properly on our head. I don't know if I would say that this wig is big head friendly. It did fit my head perfectly but I am a size medium in wig caps but I will only consider a wig big head friendly if I have like a lot of room in the back where I can adjust the wig. To lay my lace down I'm going in with my Eben Firm Hold Adhesive Spray and I'm going to spray a layer of that on my skin. As y'all can see, I did cut my lace into three sections, which I usually do. I just feel like it's easier for me to apply my lace this way. Now it's time to go in with the elastic band. This is going to help melt your lace and fully just flatten down that lace and making sure that that glue is fully dried. One thing that I will always appreciate about Sensational What Lace, that collection is, I love their lace. Like their lace, it's just so natural looking and the lace is actually pretty thin so it will not look unrealistic. And I also love that it's a 13 by 6 wig, so I can either do a middle part or I can do a side part with no problem. A lot of these wigs are coming as middle part wigs or just side part wigs, and I don't know what that's about, but I really do miss the 13 by 6 wigs. So here I'm just taking my even adhesive spray, and all of the areas that did not fully glue down, I'm going to go back in and lay it back down. Now it's time for us to have this hair looking like it's growing from out of our scalp. So I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color Neville 15. And this really just helps to make that lace blend very well with your skin tone. And this will definitely take away that harsh line between the lace and your skin. So for some reason this clip deleted of me doing my baby hairs so basically I just cut the baby hairs and I took my skinny mini flat iron and bumped the baby hairs downwards to achieve that fluffy baby hair look. And you'll see that process when I do the baby hairs on my other side.
Okay, so for this part, I was just trying to add in like a little baby swoop, but for some reason, I don't know if it's like, because I don't have like a lot of space to style that area, but I tried to achieve that little swoop there. I think I did, but it wasn't gonna last long. So for this process, y'all want to be really careful when it's time to like fluff out those curls when it comes to a synthetic curly unit because one, you can tangle up the wig and then two, you can mess up the curl pattern. With this one, I felt like I just really wanted that volume with the wig. So I just used a wide tooth comb and I finger combed out the curls just a little bit just to achieve just a little bit more volume. So first I'm gonna go in and style this wig as a middle part. And I absolutely love the fact that this is a 13 by six. I love a deep part in space. Like it just makes the wig look so much more natural and I don't know, it just makes the wig 10 times better. To define my parting space, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color form. Okay, y'all, so here's the final look. This wig, I know y'all was thinking it, but to me, I feel like this wig looks like Butter Lace Unit 5. It's definitely a dupe. I just love this unit. It looks so cute, and like I said, it just reminds me of Butter Lace Unit 5, and Butter Lace Unit 5 is definitely on the top of my favorite synthetic wigs, so I was so excited to try out this wig as well. I love that I can style this unit as a middle part and a side part, and I could just throw the hair over to the side and it still look good. Because a lot of these synthetic units, when you throw it over to the side, you can see that itty bitty part in space, and that does not look good. But this unit, this unit definitely will give you the space that you need to rock both styles properly. Overall, from the curls on this unit to the lace to the density of this unit, I loved everything about it. Like I said, it reminds me of Butter Lace Unit 5. And so if y'all looking for a dupe, here she is. <laughs>